Welcome to the main event. A low deflection shootout. But first, in the red corner, brand new in the box, complete with fancy black case. The best plastic covering in the world. The necessary stickers. And a 12.75 Bell Predator Victory Tip. Medium hardness. A pro taper low deflection shaft. Which you cannot see in this clip. Crappy cameraman. I'm just the messenger. Some cool looking joint protectors. A radial joint. I'd love to smoke that. A raffless metallic black butt. Just look at that. That's a beautiful shaft and I love the butt. Weighing in at 19.2 ounces. The champion of champions. The undisputed shaft of shafts. Lock away your daughter. Clench those cheeks for it. The Predator 314. In the blue corner with a 12.75 Kenvo Black Soft Tip, a 516 18 pin joint. The Pro Taper Low Deflection Shaft with a beautiful butt that doesn't give up. Then I'd wish he'd get on with it. Wayne and F, 18.9 ounces, not to be messed with. A long time lover of mine, so drop your pants too. The Dirks of Chex Teen Ante, I mean Purex. You want win, I'll give you win. Let's go head to head and see how they line up. Just look at those shafts. The thing of beauty. I wish I could hold them. Which one would you like to stroke with? And who's gonna win? Let's sit tight and find out. Let's get ready to rumble! I want a fair fight, nothing below the belt. Let's do it. We're playing in Dave's recently converted garage, which still smells like new. The table is at inches long and runs on slate. I mean at foot. At inches is wishful thinking. Anyway, the cue ball is traveling about seven foot across Simmons at 60 clock. There are going to be three rounds totaling 120 shots, 40 shots per round. 20 shots per cue given a total sample of 60 shots each. Do not worry. Only the first round is televised, as it really can't be ours to edit another two round. Instead, we'll have an instant statistical summary for round two and round three. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, so we're almost halfway through round one, and the first thing to notice is how dodgy this approaches. I mean, come on, 35 mil down to 27 mil with the same kid. Lucky we're doing this more than once. But seriously, this guy's stroke is shocking. Bloody amateur. The pet dog I don't have could do better. Where's Robocop when you need him? We're just about to finish round one for the Pyrex. Other than shot alive in there, it does actually appear to be a trend. There's the benchmark. Let's see how the Predator compares. Not bad. This is the Dr. Dave supplement used to measure deflection. But it didn't print to scale, which wasn't spotted until after filming. Not to worry, though, as each shot was paused just before the point of that. The camera then zoomed in, allowing a measurement to be taken using a ruler. In fact, this is the same ruler I used to measure my shaft. Damn it, I know how that sounds. Pretty sure there were a few shots that compensated for a squirt there. Can't believe the referee didn't see that. If you want full proof results, you're going to need a robot arm, as this guy can shoot straight to save his life. Before I forget, are you in the United Kingdom? Would you like to see a massive range of shafts and butts? Soft tips, hard tips, and all sorts of billion accessories. Then head over to pro9.co.uk and speak to Big Dave. He's got ball. Billy ball. Damn it, he's got it all. Man, this is looking good. Those are some strong numbers. And the Pyrrhics fight back. Will the Predator deliver? Can't wait for a round two. Now that's an awesome average. I'm not sure the Purex will catch up, but you never know. Bring it on. Pretty similar result. I think we know where this is going. So stay where you are because the results are coming up. The Predator wins a deflection shootout. 
But let's not take anything away from the Pyrrhic. It's a cracking shaft, especially for the money. I love both shafts and would aptly stroke with either of them. But as the days have passed, the Predator has become my favorite piece of wood. Never mind averages, that's a hefty difference, over one dollar per millimeter. It's been a pleasure, thanks for watching, I'm out.